Hello everyone, today I will be making a Rijla based uh, spinach stew. I've got one cup of um, red lentils that's washed. I've got one tablespoon of cumin powder, one tablespoon of coriander powder. I've got one cinnamon stick. I've got um, black pepper. I've got my oil. I've got one kg of lamb uh, meat with bones. I've got um, three large onions. I've also got um, my vegetable stock powder. Um, and I've got spinach. So this is just my way of doing it. Uh, it is done different ways by different people. So I'll just show you how I usually do this stew. What I usually like to do is to cook the lentils separately and then mix it. So that way um, it's a bit easier and it makes the meal quicker to make. So I'll start off with my lentils. So that lentils is already washed. So I'll just put that in uh, this little pot. I'll just put in hot water directly into the lentils. So I'll pour in some oil so that it doesn't boil over. Mix that through. So what I'll do is that um, because this heat is a bit big, uh, this stove is a bit big, so I'll move this to the back and I'll turn that on. So now that the lentils have started at the back, so I just put enough oil to be able to fry the onions properly. Uh, so the oil has heated up, uh, I think enough, so I'll put in the onions now. a bit earlier so that it can uh, get through properly. 
and get rid of that tangy taste. And at this point, I will add in my spinach. And I'm using the chopped spinach. So that's the spinach I'm using. And um, it's 250 grams. And I'll be using three boxes. three packets all together so it may seem like it's big but um, once the spinach cooks through it tends to shrink a little bit so there will be less than this and I will be, and I'll have a bit of room for adding in um, some of the lentils that I prepared um, earlier so at this point I'll also add in uh, roughly one tablespoon of garlic paste and I'll add in some hot water so I'll not add in too much water because the spinach does not take long to cook so that's why I'm not going to add in too much water So I'll cover that and give it about 15 minutes to cook through before I add in the lentils. Turn the heat down because once you put in the tomato paste, um, if um, once you put in the tomato paste, it tends to catch up with the tomato paste. So I turn the heat down a little bit, and that's been about 15 minutes now. So I'll add in the cumin powder and the lentils. Now at this point, I'll add in the cumin powder. one cup before but it was the 500 ml cup so that's why I said that and so So, 
this under and just wipe that off. I'll taste the salt right now to ensure that there's enough seasoning and if there's not enough um, so I'll just add in a little bit of more salt. I'll add in just a little bit. So I'll cover that and let it go for about um, 5 to 10 minutes. Thank you once again for joining me. If you'd like to follow more of my recipes and haven't subscribed yet, please uh, click on the subscription button um, and don't forget to click on the notification bell so that you're notified every time I put up a new video. And for those who are already subscribed to the channel, I'd like to say thank you for the support. Um, and until next time, bye-bye.